Right, this is Sheila, 2013, taking you back to 2007 with a continuation of a look round some little Devon villages. I've just been to Kentisbury and I'm now going to go to Paracoom, I think it's called. This is all in search of Zara's ancestors via her father's side. Little villages all around Ifracoom that I was trying to visit and locate Loverings, Irwins, and Barberies, if necessary. But it was mainly Loverings I was looking for around here. And associated names, of course. When people marry, you know, names often change. So here we go. I don't know where, where I am. I haven't listened to this tape for a while, so I haven't got a clue. Yeah, but I thought, no, I'll park it that way, and then I can get out. <sighs> yeah, it looks um, an old Normandy looking church. It all looks a bit old. Lots of laurel plants inside of it, going round towards the opposite end of the tower end. So it's quite a nice view across the hills from here. Mound over there. I might take a picture of that picture now to get that mound in. Right around the back of the church, coming around to the front opposite end of the town where we've got right behind the window is Ivor Moore Haynes, parish priest, 1891 to 1957. And then there's a monument to some Jacksons, Edwards, Antles, Whites. Wyders, Wyatts, Courts, lots of Courts, some Smiths, and the Court plot here. Looking now for our. There's a Coombs here, a Mary Coombs, a Tucker, James Tucker, he died in 1900, 1859, a Zeely. <sighs> Another Smith, Pyle, Cornish, another White. I don't know if there is anyone there, but we know Parabrook, Paracoom, I mean, did feature a lot in the censuses. Barrow, Petherick, Edward, Simmons, Worse, Gould, Keatley, Worse again. Clancy, Davidson, Davis, the back gate as well. I'll take a picture of the church from here. Unusual for a church, they've got a lot of new stones replacing 
the old ones. Maybe there's probably old ones underneath. And these have just gone straight on top, if I look of it. Anyway, I'm having a look for lover rings. It's mainly lover rings. I'm not expecting any barberies. But you never know. You never know. I've always managed to find one in most Gregos. There's a tucker over there. Wilson. Right. Keep the tape sheet on it. Here to do everybody. Crocum seems to be a common name as well. And there's a, oh, there's a Bertie Coma. Whose wife was Minnie. Minnie Tucker. Bertie Coma died in 1984, age 85. A nice looking church. So we're, so we're at Paracombe. And then after that I'm going to Berrin Arbour. Hopefully. I think I'll have to put some oil in the car. And I'll have to. Struggling now. More tuckers. I've nearly done it already. Not very big church. Just backtrack in a minute because I've missed any. It's called Christchurch Paracombe. And it's open. Come in here a minute. Lights on. You certainly get relaxed when you come in these places. That's for sure. And the lights ain't coming on. ceiling, a couple of stained glass windows, in memory of the rector of Paracroom, 1870 to 1881, Reverend P. N. Leakey, M.A. St. Peter and St. I can't remember how that one is. Excuse me for wearing my boots. There's a couple of plaques up there, Richard Doville, Dill Middleton. Latin that is. Agatha Mar Marianne Eustace, organist here for 20 years and friend of all, died in 1964, age 81. The altar rails were given in memory of Sarah Doval, who died in 1929. It's nice and clean and Shower. It doesn't seem to be locked. All right, now this is the vestry in here, but sometimes they have um, little things, you know, artifacts. Oh, that takes you out there anyway. The tower's up the other end, Sheena. floods that took place here in 1952, August, showing some of the devastation in Lynmouth as well. Some pictures of people.
might just been that they seem to be a load of them now. Find one. There's lots of creeks. But of course, like you say, they could have all been removed those stones. Yeah, this is the Devon countryside. This village sits in a coombe, hence it's called Paracoon. Opposite the church entrance, there's a big mound. It must be of some ancient burial ground, I would have thought. It's a big, big mound. I don't know what it is. I'd have to look it up. I think it's on the map. But it's so relaxing to come here. and I've got to go back to the van in a minute. Oh, I haven't even found a grave. The first one as you come through the gate. The only one nearest. Enough in memory of George Edwin Irwin. Irving. E R V I N G. Died June 15th, 1942. Oh, so Georgiana Francis, his wife, who died the 27th of November, 1959, age 81. There's the bell tell it, um, clinging, dinging for midday. See all up the coombs. That could have been the vicarage next door. It looks like an old solid building. I'm going to have fun in a minute because I've got to go back up where I came from. It's not going to be easy for me. I think it's called St. Petrox. P E T R O C K. Christchurch Paracombe. And then it had another name earlier. Not a completely different name. I guess I'm going to wander ready to give the van time to settle. I'm wandering around the... I've been all around the little village. It looks... Quite run down in areas, lots of dilapidated cottages. Um, I'm going up towards a school now. I'm basically walking round. <coughs> right, I just met a lady walking her dog since. Uh, we Hold on, just turning it round. Still, there weren't any family members. Um, there was one gravestone up there. I'll have to try and remember who it was now. Summer, Summerwill, I think they were. The Summer was William Summerwill and family. Um, so all that I was talking about up there hasn't been recorded because I forgot to turn the tape over. Anyway, after a nice long walk up a big hill to the other Paracoon church of St. Petrock, the ancient, more ancient church, was is being renovated. I didn't actually find any Lovegrins or anybody up there. Um, a lot of the stones were covered up with cardboard, not cardboard, wood, for protection from the masonry that might be falling. A lot of the stones were very covered in moss and lichen, um, you know, obviously because they're doing a lot of work up there and no one's really been tending the graves so much. There wasn't a lot of graves up there anyway. 
Um, I did quite a few names. Dove, Dovell was one that comes to mind. Um, yeah, it's on top of the hill, the other side of Paracoon. Um, and the original, which is the original church, I think, that St. Petrock, and the other one, the saint's one down inside the village itself, is a, what they call a newer one, though it's older. I've given the van chance to calm down, because it got very hot. I think I'm going to have to put blowers on when I try and start it up again. But anyway, I've walked all the way up this long hill, but unfortunately I'm walking down it now. But I've got the very likely event of having to meet another vehicle in these narrow lanes when I try and get out back up to the main road. That's going to be the biggest fear I've got because I can't put the pressure on the van. Anyway, the plan now is to try and get to Berrien Arbor, but I also need to get to the museum for my photographs. So if time starts getting a bit short, I'll have to leave Berrien Arbor for another day. I took some pictures of St. Petrock and of that summer oil grave. I'm sure somebody married a summer will or summer bill. So I've got a picture of it. It's going on for one o'clock now. Going past the village school. Amazing how they managed to keep them running. Anyway, that's the village school of Paracoom. I've just walked by. I'm going to walk back now, back down through the um, Saints Church of Paracoom, and hopefully the van will get me out of this. So I'll get away before the schools will come up and all the parents arrive, because that's when there's going to be hundreds of cars. It's actually one, just gone one o'clock now, and I'm walking back through Christchurch. Hurricane Church. Back to the van. And off to Baron Arbor. I won't walk again now until I get to the others, until I get there. Right. And I've got to the best kept village. Right, I'm stopping there um, now because I'm going to another village called Berrien Arbor. So I've done Paracoom, which I discovered had two churches. One called Christ Church, Paracoom, and the other one, St. Petrock, which was uh, more, much older and was being renovated or restored, I should say. Anyway, so over and out for now.